to say something first. Yeah, okay. I've, I've asked George and Carolyn Seaman, I had the privilege of spending some time with them, to just share a few words of encouragement, whatever the Lord leads to the children of Wellspring Church mm. at such a time as this. Mm -hmm, exactly. Such a time as this, I think, is the important part. But anyway, greetings to all of you, from the youngest to the oldest of the kids section. Um, yeah, just to remember that Jesus called the children to himself. <clears throat> and he said, let the little children come to me. And whether you are 18 and classify yourself as a child, or if you have just been born, you are obviously a child. Um, and just to know that, and I think just to encourage you, as um, all the kids together growing up, you are the next generation. You are the ones that are coming up that will run the country, do things. And how do you learn now in a day and an age of what we're living in now? And what do you gain from it? What hope do you have um, to experience, to grow, still to have fun as children, still to get to know each other, still to go out, still to to learn what Jesus wants you to learn, mm -hmm. the lives Jesus wants you to live. And how do you do that? Um, reading his Bible, getting to know the verses, going to church, singing songs, going to Sunday school, uh, or whatever you may call it here. Um, but just doing that, you know, and walking alongside people, finding a friend that is lonely in the corner and or person and befriending them, getting to know them. Don't be afraid of the unknown because God wants us to, to be part of that. Children connect with children across the world and it's just simple. Whether you can speak the language or not, they do join and they do get and you can have a huge impact um, around where you stay, in your schools, at home, at church, so I want to encourage you in whatever way that you are thinking and whatever you can do, just do it in your childlike fashion, in the way that Jesus would want you as a child to be, to spread his gospel and his hope and to love, not to fear, but to love. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that is a lot of wisdom and many good things to remember. I want to thank all of you because I know you guys are praying for our children in Africa and whenever I go back I always tell them about that and it is so so encouraging some of you have been to Africa we hope that we're going to see you there again we trust that that will happen and those of you that haven't been on a mission trip yet maybe soon that you should also go on one missions is great when we go on missions we learn about the other people and that helps us how we live our lives. As in America, United States right now, so many things are happening and we don't understand it as children. But I want you to have the fullest confidence that Jesus knows what is happening. And that He cares about you and He cares about me. And we've got no reason to fear. People that fear are people that don't know Jesus. We know Jesus. He knows us by our names. So I want you to take anything from me. I want you to take this. He loves you. He knows you. And when you put your trust in Him, you've got no reason to fear. Mm. In Africa, those children need to learn how not to fear. They face so many challenges. Mm. But when we share with them God's word, how faithful he is, mm. it gives them so much courage to persevere. Some of them have lost their moms and their dads. Some of them were taken away from their villages by, by strangers to go and find other places. So many reasons to fear. But when you know Jesus, you know nobody can take you from him. Nobody. So I'm going to read the verse to you. And I want you to remember this verse for always that's a promise for each one of you and this is a promise that god made to me and carolyn many many years ago and he's been faithful in that promise it is 
in Psalm 32 verse 8. Mm. Mm. Listen to this promise. I will instruct mm. you and teach you in the way that you should go. Nobody else need to tell you. You can find a trust that the Lord will guide you. You hear many voices, many people panicking, many people say fake things. You just stay calm. Your Lord say, I will instruct mm. you and guide you. Mm. Then he say even more. He say, I will counsel you and watch over you. Mm. Now I want to tell you something. <coughs> if I want anybody to watch over me, it must be Jesus. <laughs> he is the most powerful. He's the most loving. He's the most amazing. If he watch over you, you can put your head down at night and you can sleep well because he's covering your back for you. Today you've got a reason to be grateful and glad because he is a 